Yep, that's an easy choice. Today's project is to replace the wagon's headlight assemblies. These are the OAM units and have been in there for 22 years or so. Age has finally gotten to them, the plastic is hazing and yellowing, and the headlight beam is not defined on the road. Here's the new units going in. These will be so much better. These are the plug and play units, so the LED eye rings will turn on with the parking lights. And I'll also be throwing in a set of LED headlight bulbs. The front bumper cover needs to come off to remove the headlight assembly. There are three screws to remove in the engine shield from the cover. On each side, there's two T25 tor Torx bolts holding the fender liner to the bumper cover, one T30 Torx in the top corner of the grill, and four T30 Torx bolts below the grill. The grill will pop up and out after the top bolts are removed. Then the cover will slide forward off of each side mount. Disconnect the connectors for the side markers and the fog lights if equipped. Then the cover can be set off to the side. We also need to remove the cover center bracket as well for more room. There are three T30 Torx bolts at the top and two T30 Torx bolts on the bottom. There are two T25 Torx bolts on the top of the headlight assembly to remove and two T25 Torx down behind the housing. One is accessed by removing this rubber cover piece. When the bolts are removed, the assembly will slide forward and out of the vehicle. At this point, the electrical connector can be removed. These tabs are a pain, and a 90 degree pick can help open the tab. Let's put this side by side with the new assembly. Nothing really to say, except I should have done this sooner. Installation will pretty much go the same way as removal. One thing to note is to make sure the edge of the housing sits flush with the edge of the fender. Let's test these before fully assembling everything. These will definitely add some character to the wagon. I didn't put the LEDs in yet, so I removed them one more time to install those. It's literally a night and day difference from LED to halogen. The bumper cover reinstalls the same as removal. Wouldn't it be cheaper just to restore the factory headlights? A DIY headlight restoration kit costs around 50 bucks and two hours of work, one hour per side. We need to price out our labor even though this is DIY. Let's say a mechanic shop charges $100 per hour. The entire restoration project would cost about $250. These new headlights cost around $175. Including filming, the replacement took me 1.5 hours. The entire replacement would cost about $325. While you could save $100 plus by doing a restoration kit, Many of those kits can never bring the lens back to showroom floor quality, and it's likely the restoration won't last more than a couple years. Also, if we look inside the old headlight units, the internal wiring has been cracking and exposing bare wire. A headlight restoration kit won't fix that. Overall, this was a great upgrade. The black accents of the headlights now match with everything else. Now I just need to adjust the headlights to not blind others on the road.